So we've got Tommy Taylor in gold, Dan Dodds, uh, Suka, Lawler's come back in. Oh, we've got uh, Rose in for Little and Lawler for Wheater. Now Chester are coming forward down the left-hand side. Lewis Colton on the left-back, puts the ball in. Tommy Taylor's a bit slow on the line. And the, the striker was coming in, the ball was trickling towards the goal, but Ben Headley was there to get it clear. Ball comes back to the left-back on the left side. Sunny day there. Tommy Taylor just a little bit slow on his line there, Saj. He certainly was. First real chance for either side there. Uh, good good uh, move from Chester. Bit of hesitation at the back between the centre half and the keeper there for Darlington. And the ball comes forward again, but it should be dealt with by Dodds. Gets it back to Tommy Taylor, boots it up to the halfway line. Because um, Lambert's definitely further forward and he's more central. So we are definitely 4 2 3 1. Good, good spot. Clearance from Tommy Taylor. Mark Beck doesn't quite win the first one. Danny Rose trying to compete for it. Bit of arms, but it's found Kane Felix. He's flicked it on, but uh, it's won by the myriad, myriad of uh, blue Chester shirts. Chester now coming forward with it. Cole uh, Hall on the right hand side, but played it back to Willoughby. They're, they're sitting off a. They like to pass the ball. Interesting set up at Chester, they've got a 28 year old manager, is that right? That makes me Ball feel broken into old. the box there, it comes across and Danny Dodds just uh, got a last touch foot to that. Sorry there Taj. 28 year old manager, that makes me feel very old Michael. Just Lambert's got a lot of responsibility of trying to link those two holding midfielders with the other three players. That's a good clearance from Suka, but it's it's going to come back again. Dahl have got to up the quality. Now the ball's controlled by Perver. Finds Lambert. Lambert plays a lovely ball down the channel for Jacob Hazel. He's going to keep that in. He looks up, puts a cross in. It's high. It's over the top of Beck. But it didn't quite... Not enough on it for Hazel. There, uh, for Felix, sorry. Ball's broken now for, he for Headley. Headley's going to have a shot. Wow, and he's actually... Although 4-2-3-1 was the preferred choice of Allen for a long time, this season he's not chosen that method and I don't think there's a few of these players that have played in that formation there. And it's with uh, Danny Rose there, just again, they're just losing possession, having to work hard to get it back again. Something he would do without uh, breaking sweat last season. It's amazing what a difference having a pre-season training is. He's starting late and he's just playing catch-up, especially being older as well. Perva now with the ball. Can he spray the ball up to the right-hand side? Lambert's got a bit of space. He's got Beck and he's got Felix in front of him. Lambert pokes it on the floor, on the ground to Beck. Beck then sprays it over to the left-hand side. What can Hazel do with this? He puts it along the floor. Ooh, oh, good defending there. And high, very straight. Mark Beck makes it. His direction's managed to find its way to Hazel. Hazel gets it all the way back to Headley. Headley moves it sideways, finds Rose. Rose has Lawler around his back door. And then he gets it over to Dodds down the channel. Oh, and through the legs of Stevenson. Then pumps it forward for Felix. Ah, oh, Felix on his heels there. That was a lovely bit of play by Dodds. Now that he's got the help to get the ball back. Now it's with Rose. Goes sideways. Finds Perver. The Suka has come forward. He's over the halfway line. He's moved, making a good bit of run there. He's going to have a shot from the edge of the box. Keeper's parried it. Full back having to get it clear. Now it's come put back in again by Headley. Find Felix. Got a second of space. Can he get it onto his left? Get it onto his right foot. He's, got, he's dropping his shoulder. Plays it back for Dodds. Dodds chips it up in the air. Looking for Beck. Beck's pulled to the ground. Referee. Referee holds his hand, but it's a free kick. It's a foul by Beck, apparently. That was an excellent shot, that from Headley. Good save from the keeper from distance. Kept it uh, on the ground. Some power behind it as well. But uh, again, Darlington coming back into the game now. Keeping the ball well. 
throw in for Chester. It's over the top of uh, Dodds, but it's with Suka. He's got everybody in front of him. He pumps it up, looking for Beck. Beck lets it go over him. He finds Hazel. Hazel's in the penalty box. He plays it back for his strike partner. And a shot there from Beck, but that wasn't quite on the same Chorley level there. Excellent link up there between Hazel and Beck. And credit where it's due. I've criticised Hazel earlier in the game, but he was brilliant there. Held it up well, nicely turned. Laid it on a plate for Beck, you thought. Left foot, as he has been all season. Bang, 1-0. But instead, he went out the ground. Shifts it away from Felix, but uh, good play by Dodds. Oh, and Rose just uh, misjudged the spin on that ball as it bounced in front of him. But the ball came forward. It's only was easily cut out there by Suka. Chester then retained possession. Allen and Daz straight on him, closing down, closing down. Now it's Stevenson again. He's definitely one of their big threats for Chester, but Pervers stopping him as he forces him to come in field. Chester move over to the right-hand side. Here's Declan Weeks, edge of the box. Holding midfielder who's on the edge of the Darlow box at the moment. So he's not doing much holding. Ball back to him in the penalty box. Block there. Rose trying to stop him. And it's on the goal line. Ooh. Almost looked like Lawler was putting it into his own net. Was that uh, Dodds got it clear? The Weeks just getting the pass ball there. It returned passes. Just walking into the Darlow defence. He shouldn't be tiptoeing through the defence. No challenge at all. But again, it all started from down the flanks. I think Chester have sized up. The Darlington weakness. Here's Stevenson now at the edge of the box. He shoots. Good pressure there from Lawler. Ball's breaking for Hazel. He's got a bit of room in front of him. And he's going to play that diagonal ball for Felix. Felix needs to chest it down. Finds Beck. Then finds Lambert. Good link-up play by all four front players. Lambert plays it to Felix. He's on the edge of the box on the side, far side. Gives it to Lambert. Lambert chips it in. there, And that's where the ball was put. Right, now it's going to be Lambert, but that's a nice bit of play. All four Darlow attackers linking up nicely there. Lambert now pumps it into the box, goes far side. Goes to Lawler, goes all the way across, goes to Hazel, he blasts it. And then returns it back again. Is that going to be a Darlow? Yeah, it's come off a Chester head. Good Darlow. header at the back post by Lawler there. <laughs> Hazel, I don't know whether that was a cross or a shot. I uh, know, uh, that was a shot. Well, it was a... Can't see anybody changing on either side at this moment in time. Nobody's injured. It's all a bit of a stalemate at the moment. Lawler pumps it forward. Can Beck get to it? He does. No Chester players around him. Plays it for Lambert. Centre circle. He gets it out of his feet. Finds Headley. Headley can move forward with it. But again, he's on his left foot. He's got uh, Cole Hall closing him down. He's not going to outpace him to get to the byline. And it's on his wrong foot. And there's a mistake from Perver trying to find Lambert. Have to get it back. Lambert, can he win it back? No. Good tackle there by Suka. Declan Weeks is a good footballer. Great control. And the ball just pumped over the back of the line. And Tommy Taylor has to come out to get it. Oh, that's a pull on Tommy Taylor. Right in front of the referee. He just slowed the, go the goalie to get into the ball. That's centre midfield. You notice there, Chester manager is just constantly looking at his watch. It's got half an hour to go yet. Yeah, that's not what he's worried about. Ball's now flicked. Kane Felix has a chance to break onto the ball. Gets it to the box. And it's a goal for Kane Felix. What a that fluky goal. But he just looped over the defender's leg. Well, he beat his man down that right flank in front of the Darlington fans. The Darlington fans are going absolutely wild there. It looked like he was trying to put a cross in. But perhaps got a deflection and looped over the goalkeeper. 1-0. And somebody's, somebody's letting a flare off as well. Yes, yes. It's, uh, it, I mean, it was great running by Felix. He broke himself into the penalty box. But he just got a bit of luck there. Was it the shot? I guess it was the shot with the power that was on it. It looked like a cross to me, Michael, but I could be wrong. But we'll take it. We absolutely will take it all day long. And the Darlow fans, they haven't taken the shirts off, which sounds crazy in October, but... It's, it must be, it was 18 degrees in the car, so I'm guessing... I don't must, see too many six-packs there either, Michael. But that I see should boost his confidence, though, Michael. I mean, he's, he's been up and down all season, but a little bit of luck. Who knows, that could be the turning point. Indeed, goal number two for Kane Felix. Well, his first one was pretty spectacular. Oh, and there's Mark Beck getting a tackle in. Oh, and it's a late tackle. He's got a yellow card out, he's got a yellow card out. Oh, that could have been... Uh, their manager checking it was a little bit late from Mark Beck 
but the referee immediately tried to defuse the situation by getting this card out as he was running over because there was immediately Chester were baying for something more but uh, I think it's one of those tackles where he got the ball but then went through and there's a lot of people jumping around here asking for a red card but that's not a red card that yellow card at work no it's a yellow card a yellow card yes although uh, I did think I was saying before about Mark Beck not being a dirty player but that, that was not great <laughs> so he's, uh, he obviously misheard me there so yellow card for Mark Beck but that just shows the effort that Beck puts in not only going towards the opposition goal sitting tight is only going to cause one problem their big number 21 Cole Hall who's in that number 9 role he keeps coming deeper for the ball ball dipped forwards should be dealt with by Law, uh, by Suka oh and they've broken into the penalty box good play there by James Morgan but the shot did that come off Adalo? oh is it that was brilliant from Dodds that they were clean through one on one with the keeper great covering from Dodds he's been congratulated by his teammates brilliant Yes, Dodds, Dodds has done a, had a couple of good games since he's come into this side and he's just bailed his team out because they were breaking right into the penalty box there. It's another one of those seasons where we've got uh, plenty of captains this season. Ball thrown by Darlington, tries to find Beck but it's cleared by Chester. Back to Dodds. Oh, well done by Dodds. Oh, but he's just held off by the, by the Chester number three. Dodds then works well and finds Kane Felix. Well played by Dodds and there's Kane Felix. Lovely turn. Go on, Kane. The boy can play, it's absolutely no question. And the ball's found its way to Perver. Perver's now played a good crossfield ball. Find Headley. Headley's got Jacob Hazel. Hazel's not that winger, so he plays it back to Little. Little finds Perver. Darla just keeping possession. That's what we want. Sting out of the game. Retain possession. Lambert played that a little bit into space, but it's it's fallen to him. It's fallen for Dodds. Dodds just turns and get goes past uh, Stevenson. Or oh, Stevenson stayed with him, but he's not stayed with it. Now it's Lambert, edge of the box, gets it back into Dodds. What a run by Danny Dodds. Sun beaming in our eyes. Just dropped my hat, hat again. It's Stevenson up against uh, Dodd. And Dodd gets the tackle in, but in doing so... That was basically when they lost possession, five players out the game. They don't need to be doing that. No, here we go. Let's see where this corner goes for Chester. It's whipped in. It's, it's into the box, straight into the dull, straight into the keeper's hands. Chester's lack of quality in this final third, just starting to show a little bit. They've got the possession, but they're not making much of it. Is that the difference? Chester now down this right hand side. It's with uh, Lynch. Tries to come in field. They're struggling to get this ball in. Good block there from Little. Uh, Jazz Rivers tries to dink it over, but it should have got more firmer foot on it. Cross comes in. Header is won by Chester, but it's just up in the air. It's still not cleared by Darlow. Still up in the air, and it's going to go all the way out for a goal kick. They're letting Darlow get themselves back into position. We are now into injury time. No sign of how many minutes there are, though. Chester trying to make a movement down the right-hand side, but Ben Little there and Jazz Rivers also there to close it down forces them to go back central now they're going over to the Chester left the move in the ball around Darlow deep in their own half but it's just hard to see can they it's this running the risk if they get a bit of quality into the box the cross comes in Lawler gets to it ball finds Beck Beck's battling for it but he's not won it it's clear for Beck, for Chester shot comes in from Ivan Murray the substitute but uh, never challenging the goal Again, Chester just taking the time. Everybody's Darling marked. holding the position really well. They are, but the, the lack of uh, offensive ability of Chester. Here he comes into the box. We're going to have another shot. But it's tame and it's safely in the hands of Tommy Taylor. Seen out the time. He's got the. He's given the ball away for the throwing, but it's right down to the corner flag. Perfect. Just another name to mention, Lawler. Another solid performance. And the referee blows the final whistle. And Darlow have their first victory over Chester in the, since the 2020 Ulva era. We finally won at the Diva Save. I'm sorry, first away win at Chester for a long time. And the Darlow fans are jumping. That was a hard, hard bit of work from Darlow. But they managed to do was, it, Sedge. That was solid rather than spectacular. It was either going to take 
some fantastic piece of skill or a little bit of luck to win that game from either side. And Felix, it looked like a bit of a cross deflected and he went in and ultimately that was the that made the difference 